Right. If you want to add resistance to your fan, there's probably a reason why. Most likely the reason is you're moving too much air or you're consuming too much horsepower. So let's say you've got a centrifugal fan, vertical up blast like this one. So you got your wheel here, your inlet coming in, you've got a discharge going up, and then you've got some ductwork coming off. Well, a centrifugal fan is a little bit of a different beast than your window fan at home maybe, where you could just go and switch from high to medium to low. So the way that you do that with a centrifugal fan is through a device called a damper. So where we would probably look to put this, if you're just looking to resist flow in the field, I recommend putting it on the outlet of the fan. And all you're looking to do is create a blockage in the airstream. So an opposed blade outlet damper right here can can help add some pretty quick resistance. And so you just stick an outlet damper in here, you close that, it shuts the blades a little bit, provides some resistance, doesn't move as much air, and uses less horsepower. You could also put one on the inlet side. I mean, you, you really just wanna get resistance somewhere in the gas stream as it's going into the fan. The concern we have with putting it on the inlet is if you put it too close to the inlet, and it's a damper that doesn't help the pre-spin of the air going in the direction of the blades, you could really screw up your fan's performance. So just be careful on that side, that, you, that if you are going to put a damper on the inlet side, and it's not going to be like a variable inlet vein, put it far enough away from the fan that it doesn't disturb the gas as it's entering the fan. Really, those are the two ways that you can add resistance to your fan. And what you're doing on the curve, like we've got volume on the horizontal, we got pressure on the vertical. All you're doing by adding resistance is taking something that's out here a little too far and you're moving it left when you close these dampers. And so that's consuming less horsepower and it's moving your volumetric flow to the left on your fan. So that's how we add resistance to an industrial fan.